Okay. Thank you. So why are we here today? Well, you know, Infineon started to do a lot of work to try to develop solutions for a solution sale for customers uh, with respect to providing a complete um, motor control solution. So we're combining basically our industry leading power switches with our iMotion device or intelligent control solution. And we're really looking to improve system efficiency, you know, and safety for the consumer, uh, primarily because the device is UL class B qualified and really help customers with the tool sets that we have available. For instance, our development tools, our prototype platforms, uh, for instance, the MADK platform, and then our development resources and the expertise that Infineon has in general uh, in motor control solutions to help you guys bring solutions to your customer sooner, complete design sooner. So today we'll talk about um, how Infineon can help you with your next motor drive development. We'll do a little overview of our Cyphos IPM family. We'll talk about the MADK evaluation platform and the immense resources that provide you. And then on top of that, we'll cover um, iMotion control software. It's a full FOC motor controller. And then I'll show you some tools and reference links that are available, and then just a little summary. So what is an ECM motor? Well, it's an electrically commutated motor, and there are um, basically two parts to this. There is the, the main part of the motor housing and then an end bell. And what you typically see in a lot of the HVAC marketplace is that this end bell is integrated onto the motor and that houses the drive. And so there's a big difference in the marketplace between electrically commutated motor and that of a PSC motor. Primarily that comes down to efficiency. There's a general trend in the marketplace to improve efficiency overall. And that's where the ECM motor comes into play because you get about 80% efficiency and plus, because it's inverterized, you have the ability to control speed and then also, you know, implement different types of control algorithms, you know, for instance, constant torque, constant RPM or constant airflow operation for these motors. So, you know, inside of this end bell where this drive sits, there's a couple different components and Infineon can really help in all of those. The first one is the microcontroller. Um, you know, this is critical in controlling the different uh, switches in the three-phase inverter. Uh, for the three-phase inverter, we um, have both discrete um, IPM as well as, um, you know, fully full module solutions for high power applications. And of course, there's some type of auxiliary power supply, input rectifier, and, you know, we have components to support all areas of that design. So how can Infineon help? Well, we are an ECM or motor drive solution provider. Not only do we have iMotion, um, which is a single um, FOC motor controller in many different configurations. You know, all of the math internally to this product is completed. Um, so you're essentially just programming the key parameter sets of your motor that define the characteristics of your motor. And then the software itself is doing the rest of the work for you. Uh, this uh, iMotion device also has the capability of con doing PFC control, both uh, totem pole as well as standard boost topologies. Then we have a very broad product offering of IPM solutions, and these cover, you know, essentially power ranges from roughly a quarter um, horsepower all the way up to, um, you know, even four horsepower um, is suitable with our IPM product offering. Now, inside an IPM, there are a three-phase inverter, so six IGBTs, six uh, reverse conducting diodes, as well as the gate drivers and the bootstrap diodes for this full system. So it is the full inverter assembly inside of an IPM package. And you have various different IPM packages for different power ranges. Obviously larger packages, you know, um, allow you to handle higher power. And then of course, uh, we have the CoolSet power supply controller. It's a flyback IC to provide your logic level voltages. And then um, if you're adding connectivity to the solution, either Bluetooth, wireless with a recent um, acquisition of Cypress, then you can look about hardware security based solutions with Optiga um, software and uh, hardware solutions. So in this presentation, we're gonna focus primarily on the IPM product offering. And that's because uh, within the IPM product offering, we have a number of solutions with our MADK development platform that really help accelerate your design cycle uh, for a motor control solution. Now, um, there are a lot of advantages to IPMs, you know, in terms of footprints, um, you know, cost and uh, performance and ease of manufacturability. And, but don't, um, 
we definitely have a complete line of discretes as well. We're the largest manufacturer of discrete IGBTs in the marketplace. And, you know, if you choose not to go with an IPM based solution for your next motor control design, we can help you with both a discrete solution. But today's focus primarily IPMs. So when you look at the current uh, product portfolio of what we call our Cypus IPM family, uh, on the left, you see um, the Cypos Nano, and on the right, the Cypos Maxi. And as you transition from left to right on your screen, or at least on my screen, hopefully yours, um, you will see um, a transition in power. So the devices on the left are your PQFM packages, designed small packages, roughly 100 watts and below. You transition into the Cypos Micro. This is your 2 to 400 watt um, inverter solution. Cypos Tiny is covering a wider range, roughly 300 watts to about 1.2, 1.4 kilowatts. The Cypos Mini is, sits in a unique place because of the very wide um, variety of product in, in the Cypos Mini. Um, the advantage here with the Cypos Mini is that there is one socket configuration that will support applications uh, from 4 amps all the way up to 30 amps with one package, one pinout configuration. You'll see here too is that there's a difference. Um, we have a full pack device which is fully over molded, so our theta specifications are generally higher in this product. Uh, but we also have a, a DBC version, and um, there's probably about uh, you know a 25 degree C difference in junction temperatures by going to a DBC version versus a full packed version. And when you start talking about the higher current ratings of this device, 15, 20, 30 amp rated devices, um, you start to transition into solely a DBC solution in order to get the heat out of the product. And then we also um, have recently released the Cypos Maxi. This is our first product offering um, at 1200 volts. So 1200 volts of blocking IGBTs inside of this. There's a five and 10 amp version available. And then in October of this year, we'll be releasing uh, the silicon carbide version of this product as well. So that has roughly 45 milliohm dies inside. And uh, we've done some testing on this where you can actually create motor drive solutions that are in excess of 11 kilowatts with this IPM roughly the same dimensions as well as the Cypos Mini product. Just another visualization of our product line, kind of highlighting the different power ranges. Um, but you can see here that we're focused in a lot of different applications. The IPMs are very commonly used uh, in the appliance marketplace for you know, washing machines, dryers, dishwashers. Uh, you're also seeing these used extensively um, in, in some low power industrial drives. Um, products that you would see from uh, Siemens or Danfoss or Rockwell ABB, those types, but, you know, generally lower power, you know, sub, you know, four kilowatts in that range. And then there's also a lot of applications that we're seeing in the industrial marketplace when you're talking about um, integrated, you know, water pumps or, you know, um, you know, fluid moving systems. So the IPMs really have a play across multiple different platforms. And, you know, some of these products are produced in extremely high volumes. For instance, Cyplus Mini is in excess of, you know, 50 million pieces per year. So it's, it's a product that's robust and very commonly used in the marketplace um, because it provides a lot of advantages. So we've kind of covered most of these applications. Um, one of the other areas that we're seeing a lot of expansion for this is um, in the compressor marketplace and also the HVAC industry. So uh, there's a general trend in the marketplace to transition away from, you know, the large ECM motor manufacturers and start to develop, you know, in-house um, inverterized motor control designs so that manufacturers have more control over the design and also can implement features at a lower cost. And they're doing that um, as a primary driver for cost savings. So just going in a little bit more detail about our product offering, I won't go into too much detail um, on these slides. These are just more for your reference because we'll cover this a, a little bit later in the presentation. Um, but here you see the Cypos Nano. This is available in a couple different blocking voltage ranges, you know, from 40 volts all the way up to 600 volts. We have products in both three-phase inverter, half-bridge topologies, and then an H-bridge topology device as well. And then we've recently released a product called the Smart IPM, which I'll cover in a follow-up slide. Cypos Micro um, also has a wide variety of technologies built in. We have both MOSFET-based devices that you'll typically see in re uh, refrigeration applications for a, a you know, refrigerator compressor, but then also you have IGBT-based devices that you're seeing that are providing lower costs and, and really pretty darn good efficiency for many applications that are 400 watts and below. Then um, we have the Cypos Tiny product. Now Cypos Tiny is unique in the fact that it comes in two different package configurations. It's available both in SIP and DIP packaging um, in three, uh, I'm sorry, um, six, 10, 15, and 20 amp configurations. 
So it provides manufacturers a lot of flexibility in terms of mounting. It's a very compact product. It uses some of the latest generation of our IGBT technology, our IR IGBT 6.2 devices. So it's a very efficient device and uh, very compact. This is a replacement to our legacy IRAM product offering. And this is almost 40% uh, smaller in size than the IRAM device, yet you know, offers comparable power ratings. And that really comes down to the design of the package and also the chip technology utilized in the device. Cypos Mini, mentioned before, a wide variety of different configurations of this product available. Uh, from a three-phase inverter perspective, you're looking at four amps all the way to 30 amps. And then we also have some unique topologies with, for instance, PFC built in. Um, some modules just have PFC and then you use a separate, uh, separate module for um, uh, the inverter, or we also have, for instance, the IM564 device, uh, which has uh, both three-phase inverter and uh, MOSFET-based uh, boost PFC built into the device, and we'll cover that a little bit later. So the other portion of the product offering that we'll talk about today is iMotion. And iMotion is a full FOC motor controller. It's a Cortex-M0 processor. And Infineon has spent the last uh, 15 years developing what we call our MCE 2.0 software. And this is the core math behind uh, motor control solutions. And all you're really doing is using our software interface to update the parameters and um, optimize or tune the performance of uh, the parameter sets that um, you program in for your motor uh, inside of our software. And the software itself does all the extra work. And we have a couple different flavors of this product available in our offering. We have the standard iMotion controller that's available um, in several different uh, package configurations, you know, from roughly 38 pins all the way up to 64 pins, depending on whether you want to do PFC in that product or how many IOs you want in the solution. And then also whether you want a single core or dual core configuration. And then we have the smart driver. So this is to be utilized with discrete based components, be it either IGBTs or MOSFETs. But this is uh, a motor controller with uh, a three phase uh, gate driver inside, all inside of a PQFM package. And then also you have the um, iMotion Smart IPM. And the Smart IPM takes that integration to the next level where you integrate motor controller, the MCE 2.0 software, um, all the gate drivers and a three phase inverter. And that product is really targeted at power ranges, you know, around 125 watts and below, but provides very substantial, you know, package size reductions and system reductions for, for small power motors. So why work with Infineon? Well, Infineon has an extremely broad product offering and we're constantly investing in technology. So when you compare the positioning of our product offering versus the competition, what you'll see is that, you know, Infineon has products across every area um, of your um, electronic control, not only from the sensor perspective, the motor control, the gate drivers, but also, you know, we are an expert in switch technology. We are agnostic to the technology that uh, we represent. We um, you know, our market leaders in both silicon, silicon carbide, as well as GAN-based solutions. So we try to pair the best switch technology uh, for a given application for the customer. And that's an extreme strength for Infineon when comparing us to other manufacturers in the marketplace. So when it comes down to motor drive development, when you start to pursue your in-house uh, motor drive um, project, you know, how can Infineon help? Well, this really comes down to the availability of our MADK demo platform. And what this is, is a full hardware-based solution for various different power levels. We combine that with our iMotion controller on a separate board in most cases, and this integrates into a universal number of different um, power boards uh, to pursue applications from roughly, you know, um, 200 watts or even 125 watts in the case of the smart IPM, all the way up to, you know, an excess of three kilowatts. Um, and with the introduction of our um, Cypos Maxi um, evaluation board for silicon carbide, that will push that envelope all the way up to 11 kilowatts at higher voltages. Uh, so this platform allows you uh, to basically run and test your motor within an hour. Once you receive the MADK evaluation platform in Infineon, you hook it up, get your lab set up, plug in the motor, and then start tuning this up with your um, laptop to control the parameters of the motor. And we have a great tool that walks you through that process. So one, we provide you the, uh, the hardware, but two, at the same time, we can also provide you the full reference design for these 
uh, boards. So within the material that we can um, provide to you and download from the website, we have Gerber files available, the Altum schematic files for these MADK boards. And this significantly reduces you know, your time to market because we're essentially providing you 80% of the completed motor drive solution from essentially day one of working with Infineon. On top of that, uh, we have basically our MCE software qualified. So we have full UL Class B qualification on our motor control software. So that el eliminates a huge you know, portion um, of your development work and qualification of your product to get your code up to speed. Our, our code is already completely qualified and has all of the key safety protections built in already. And then, of course, working with Infineon, you have our excellent, uh, you know, technical staff. We have, you know, applications engineers and the experts for both our IPM and iMotion um, products offering located stateside. So, you know, we can help walk you through the process of, you know, designing your motor drive, utilizing the iMotion software, and, and really taking your design um, to the next level and also making that happen very quickly. So this is an overview, uh, a small overview, just based on the packages, uh, product packages of their IPM family with respect to the MADK uh, platform. So you see solutions here in the Cyclos Nano all the way up to the Maxi, and these are the power boards, uh, and they all have a little connector that you see here. In the case of some of the other ones, if it has PFC, it has a slightly different connector. It has a, another pin here. Um, these integrate right into the uh, iMotion control board. And so this allows you to have one iMotion control board that it can control, you know, pretty much an infinite number of, of motor loads, you know, within the space of 11 kilowatts and below. So within our website, we have a great tool called the IPM Motor Drive Simulator. And I won't provide you a, an example or a, a demonstration of this, but this is a screenshot of this tool. And what it allows you to do is basically program in the core parameter sets of your motor or your load for the three-phase inverter. And we do have different tools within this on our website for a variation with PFC as well. But you program these parameters and then select the IPMs in our product offering that you want to evaluate, and it will provide a full loss calculation. So you'll understand the junction temperatures of both the IGVT and diode inside the inverter. Uh, you'll understand the losses of each stage of the switch and the diode. And it will really give, give you a great understanding um, of which solution within the Infineon product offering is most suitable for your application. So um, it's a great first step um, in terms of identifying the correct solution for your application and available from our website. So let's get into some of the Mad K boards that we have available actually in our product offering and we'll relate to these to products as well. So one of the first ones that I'll highlight here is the Smart IPM. And what's really unique about this product is this little package that you see here, this 12 by 12 uh, PQFM package has motor controller, gate drivers, and three phase inverter all inside of a single package designed for roughly 125 watts and below. Um, and there's several different configurations of this product available. Um, so you don't have to buy a 125 watt version if your application is only 25 watts. We have some lower power versions. These are MOSFET based devices. And in the links uh, here within the presentation that you'll receive um, after this call, this will take you right to the, the product page of this device here, as well as uh, the evaluation board here. But um, unlike some of our other evaluation boards, because this is such a compact solution, uh, and the motor control engine is integrated, uh, this is a single board solution that's ready to go that you can immediately power up and drive a motor in your application. So talking about integration with respect to the Smart IPM, really you start to see an evolution of our product offering over the time. So you have one, um, our iMotion controller here with gate drivers and then the discrete base solution. And then you start to look at the, a smart driver where you're now you're eliminating the gate driver and um, incorporating that into the iMotion device, the smart driver, uh, and then using discrete components or then going to an iMotion device and you wanna pursue higher power applications, you can go to an IPM package. And then the final level of integration is really the smart IPM, uh, which we just covered. So here's an example of a customer application and an evolution of basically our technology and the customer's technology and how our evolution in technology really improved the solution for the customer. In this particular case, the customer used to use a, a standard iMotion device um, and then a Cypos uh, Micro IPM. 
uh, once we introduced uh, the Cypos Nano product offering because his power level was pretty low, um, you know, roughly, I think, 70 watts, uh, he could start to use the iMotion device and then a Cypos Nano. And then the final level of integration is basically the utilization of the smart IPM. And here you see the transition or evolution of board size at the customer's application, um, you know, as you transition to the technology releases that Infineon brings to play in the marketplace. Just a little fact sheet about uh, the smart IPM. Uh, down here, you'll see the different configurations of this device. Um, so the lowest RDS on specification is uh, just under one ohm. Uh, we have a 1.4 ohm and then a six ohm divert, uh, device. So you choose the, the right device for your power levels. And these power ratings here are based on no heat sinking, 125 watts or higher, you know, would require a little bit of top mounted heat sinking or some heavier copper content uh, on your PCB board. Now, this is available both in a standard configuration uh, without the MCE software, what we call a Cortex M0 or A version of the product, and then also it has um, the MCE software built in. This is our motor control engine, and it's available both in the 101 and 102T. The difference being is that the 2 version includes uh, extra I.O. ports uh, for PFC control. Uh, so you can do both totem pole and boost PFC, although, you know, in the low power spectrum uh, where this is utilized, uh, PFC is pretty rarely used in most cases. Increasing the power here is the Cypos micro product offering, targeting roughly a third horsepower and below motor drives, and this is, you know, AC powered. Um, all of the devices that we'll talk here today are primarily focused around AC line voltage applications, so most of the devices have either uh, 600 volt blocking or 1200 volt blocking devices inside and the corresponding gate drivers to match that. So this solution is really looking at the 300, 350 watt power range um, AC. And this is a fully integrated motor drive solution for that. So iMotion and the IPM are included on the same board. Again, our links down here for the iMotion controller, the IPM, and then the evaluation board are here. And I've used this green box here to kind of highlight the content of the IPM solution associated with the difference. So um, in this particular case, because it is IPM and not a PIM module or power integrated module, the input rectifier is not included. So there's a question here. Yes. So the question is, do you have a version of iMotion that controls PFC and does motor control? And that's correct, yes. Any version of our iMotion device that has a 2 at the end, a 102T or a 302T, um, has um, the capability of controlling PFC and uh, the inverter from the same motor drive. So a little expansion on the product portfolio associated with the IM231. Uh, there's two slides here that I'll show um, about the Cypos Micro. This first one represents kind of the performance version. So the IM231 utilizes a COPAC uh, IGBT configuration, COPAC meaning separate IGBT die and separate diode die uh, for this uh, three-phase inverter. Um, so you get um, better heat spread. Um, and very good performance uh, with the technology that we chose for this. It is available in both dip configuration and surface mount packaging and has both four amp and six amp inverter uh, ratings. The other version that we have is the IM240 version, and this is a lower cost version of that product, uh, a reduced power rating of the device as well, three amp and four amps, uh, but this is using RCD technology, and what we call RCD technology is reverse conducting diode technology. So instead of using a copac configuration where you have two separate chips in the device, this device is utilizing a single chip with both IGBT and diode integrated onto the same chip, the technology that Infineon has been working on and mastering for for um, over a decade now. Um, and it provides some advantages in cost because you're reducing the silicon content. And to be honest, the performance of this device is actually you know, quite good. Um, and it provides roughly a 20% cost reduction over the IM231. Moving up in power, you know, targeting your half horsepower range, which is pretty common in the marketplace for HVAC, you know, um, and the uh, appliance drive marketplace, um, we have the Cypos Mini. And this can also be supported with the Cypos Tiny as well. Uh, we have separate boards for that, which we'll highlight at the end. But uh, this is basically looking at that 500 to maybe 7 uh, 750 watt solution. Um, with the um, Cypos Mini, this particular version of the Cypos Mini, the GA version, does not include the DBC substrate, so this is really designed for the lower power applications. But we have um, here, this 
because it has this connector right here, this does not have the iMotion integrated, you would utilize a separate iMotion control board that plugs into that socket, which provides you that uh, ability to have a universal power board configuration. So if you want to go up in power, uh, you could get the next size board up. Uh, and then we have uh, three quarter and one horsepower drive configurations here, roughly the same board for this solution. These devices then can also start to utilize DBC when you get to the one horsepower configuration. So for instance, a 15 amp device with DBC, um, the GD version uh, would provide you the capability of having much lower junction tempers, temperatures because of that um, integrated DBC substrate. And this um, would utilize the same iMotion I style devices, both the 101 series and the uh, the uh, 301 series. So here you see a DBC version looking at one horsepower and two horsepower. You know, there's a lot of different configurations within this product family. Cypos Mike uh, Mini is, is very unique in that sense is that the whole product family features essentially the same pinout configuration. So it allows you to have a, basically a scalable design in your application. So you know, either you're operating at four amps or 30 amps, you can change out the IPM, you know, change your bus capacitance, maybe your gate, um, you know, some of your, um, you know, add some extra magnetics to make a design that can handle a wide variety of horsepower ranges. And we're seeing that in the application where a customer or an HVAC marketplace might make a single board design for half horsepower all the way up to one horsepower and then just change out the IPM and add a couple other, you know, DC link caps to the board if needed. So here you see the full overview um, of the Cypos Mini product offering. And what's um, interesting here is that there's not only three-phase inverter topologies here, you also have a switch reluctance motor version, uh, less common in the marketplace, but there are a couple applications that utilize that. And then also a separate PFC module. So uh, this is a, a two-phase boost or totem pole configuration with these devices. So you can um, have one IPM for uh, PFC and then a separate IPM for the inverter, really maximize the power that you can get out of a very combined, you know, high density motor drive solution. And these are generally suitable for, you know, applications up to about four horsepower, um, three, three kilowatts um, in general. So when you start looking about integration within our IPM products, okay, uh, another question here. Can you? Talk about adding electrical isolation to the smart IPM applications. Well, the package itself of the smart IPM is isolated. Um, so, you know, you don't really have to worry about um, providing extra levels of isolation. You know, the mounting configuration or the pad um, that we define in the specification for the product uh, would define the creepage and clearance requirements uh, for the, uh, the pad contact on the bottom of the device. The top side is obviously fully um, overmolded, so that's fully electrically isolated. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, but we can, you know, if you have a specific question afterwards, I'm happy to help um, support your question offline. So from inter integration perspective, notice the green box here of what I'm showing um, and what's included in this IPM. And within this IPM, um, we have a single boost topology PFC, which utilizes a MOSFET here and then a silicon diode, and then your standard three phase inverter, in this particular case at 20 amps. So this particular product is suitable for applications that require PFC um, in a power range of roughly two kilowatts. Uh, notice this product does have DBC configuration. And then of course the bridge is external to the solution, but it really provides a substantial cost, cost savings and space savings over, over other solutions that are not incorporating the PFC section uh, of this drive into the IPM. So you see on the left here, you know, when you have a standard uh, configuration of an IPM, just the three-phase inverter that you see here, then you need a separate um, either IGBT or MOSFET uh, for the boost topology and its corresponding diode, and then you have the input rectifier, um, all of which have to be isolated and, and uh, mounted and torqued uh, in your application. Going to the IM564 here with integrated PFC, you can significantly reduce the footprint of your design and the complexity of assembly. And now all of those devices are already insulated inside the package of the device. Now this is utilizing a MOSFET for the PFC, so we're capable of operating at 150 kilohertz. Now there is derating associated with increased PFC frequencies, uh, but here you can see kind of how that works out um, in terms of the PFC frequency. 
So majority of applications that we're seeing in the marketplace are in the range of 60 to let's say 80 uh, kilohertz for the PFC frequency uh, for utilizing MOSFET-based technology, and that really helps optimize the size of, size of the magnetics in your application. But here you see suitable for two kilowatts at 60 kilohertz uh, switching frequency. Now, of course, you know, uh, this is the maximum, you know, output of the device, but you very, could theoretically use this PFC um, to have a system. Let's say you had a, a compressor drive that was 1.2 kilowatts and then a condenser fan that was 300 watts or 250 watts. You could use that same bus uh, from the PFC, you know, to um, because there is an outside tap to basically power um, and have, provide PFC uh, or the bus voltage for your whole system. So if you need to increase power um, to the maximum capability within our IPM product offering, um, which is roughly the approximately four horsepower range, you know, we have a new version of our IPM, uh, which is called the IM535. And this basically integrates the latest generation of chip technology from Infineon. Uh, in this particular case, uh, following the green box here, you can see that we um, remove the PFC for this base uh, solution and really focus on, you know, large dyes, you know, copac configuration for this solution uh, with 30 amp dyes inside. And so you get very high power handling capability and then the PFC can handle be handled uh, by your choice of either, you know, a MOSFET-based device with a silicon carbide diode or silicon diode, or right down here, I've at least uh, recommended uh, suitable solutions here uh, for a standard MOSFET P7 device, and then our silicon carbide diode is 650 volts. But the nice thing here is that, you know, all of the solutions here are fully optimized for use in motor control. So we're controlling the DVD, DVDT of the solution for 5 kV per microsecond um, and optimizing the traces uh, to eliminate noise you know, this is this is a solution that's designed specifically for motor control. So just some of the key features of this solution. Um, I'll skip this slide and, and then show you this here. So what this shows is essentially an evolution of chip technology from Infineon. And Infineon is constantly working on new chip, chip technologies. In fact, uh, later this year, we're releasing IGBT-7 in 650 volt solutions. Currently, we're on IGBT-5. Uh, we have 1200 volt IGBT-6 devices and then low power IGBT-6 devices, but IGBT-7 comes out. IGBT-7 brings in a next generation of conduction losses uh, plus um, improved short circuit capability over some uh, older generations of technology. So basically the best and brightest, uh, best solution from Infineon moving forward. So in this particular case, uh, we see the old solution, which is the IKCM 30 f 60 gd highlighted here in the green line. Uh, showing here in the blue line, which is kind of overshadowed by the red line, which is from a competitor, um, but a substantial um, savings in terms of or, or improvement in efficiency of the system and in reduction in losses. And I highlight this competitor solution here, which has a very similar curve to our device, primarily because their solution is 40% larger than the IM535. So they can get similar performance to us, but at uh, a size penalty, 40% larger solution than Infineon. And our big advantage here is, is IGBT technology, which allows us to further reduce the package size um, and really bring the best solution to the customer. So if you have an application that is high voltage, let's say you have you know, a 380 volt, 480 volt, or 600 volt input, and you're looking at bus voltages in excess of 800 volts, we do have the Cypos Maxi product offering. Currently, there is two devices available in that product offering. Uh, which uh, has a 5 amp and 10 amp IGBT6 based solution, but we also have a um, silicon carbide version of the solution coming out. And down here, you can add PFC if you want for this solution. I've included some devices down here, both our 1200 volt uh, silicon carbide MOSFET and 1200 volt silicon carbide diode um, if you want the utmost uh, efficiency in the application. Otherwise, you can use an IGBT based technology. Uh, but there's a variety of uh, solutions in this product offering, uh, Cypos Maxi, and we're continuing to expand it. So the uh, silicon carbide version of this solution is coming out uh, in October of this year. So this provides you uh, a more inclusive view of our evaluation platform or MADK evaluation platform. So what you see on the right here are the power boards, or most of the power boards. Uh, there are a couple new additions to this too, and there's about five more that are planned between now and the end of the calendar year. So this is the power board. On the left, you see the control board. So there are versions available for both um, 
without PFC, this is what you see here, and with PFC, what you see down here. And then this is an older generation that uses a less complex version of the software, a little bit lower cost point. Um, but in my opinion, I would recommend the, the 101 T series uh, and the 102 T series. So this is um, an overview of the full evaluation platform. And remember, if you you know engage with Infineon, get one of these MADK evaluation boards, you know we also provide you all the schematics, the Gerber files, the Altium files, you know, everything that you need to basically have all the details of this solution so that then you can adapt this solution, you know, for your application. We like to say this is the 80% completed solution for your application. So let's talk about iMotion. What is iMotion? Well, iMotion, um, we started working on this in our IR days back in 2006. Uh, we have over 30 parts in the product offering, and uh, this product is used in a variety of applications. Many of them are extremely high volume um, operation, and we've been working on this to really evolve our software to make it as user friendly as possible, and we're continually adding new feature sets. Uh, just recently, we got the, our latest version um, of the software release, which should be um, coming on our website very shortly, UL approved. Uh, UL class B approved. So every one of these reiterations that we do and improvements in the software, um, you know, has to be requalified uh, just to make sure it meets all the safety requirements. And uh, we're making sure that we do so that on every every evolution. So there's really two parts of iMotion. One is the hardware, which is the you know the processor that's a Cortex M0, and the other part is the software. And this is a professional motor control software. It's it's been through um, you know a lot of validation testing and of course because the code is qualified it's safe and it has many safety features built into the solution so just an overview of some of the key features we have hall sensor support for this it is a sensorless foc uh, motor controller uh, that's the primary utilization for this is sensorless uh, we have the ability to do pfc both totem pole and uh, standard boost topologies uh, it's a cortex m0 it's UL Class B qualified software. And then uh, with the transition to the MCE 2.0 software, which came out about a year ago, we added the capability to do scripting. And I'll get into a little bit more of that in the future, but basically you can write up to 1,500 to 2,000 lines of code to perform auxiliary functions within inside the processor, um, utilizing the IO ports and or um, to you know pull um, information from the device to transmit it. Here's just a fact sheet of the iMotion 101 series. So this is um, a single core device, uh, so a single Cortex M0 processor. And I'll highlight some of the production features built in and part of our UL qualifications. So you have under and over voltage lockout, over current, over temperature. You have motor gate kill, rotor lock, fault reporting, integrated minimum dead time, and shoot through protection standard in this device. All these included, and you can control the parameters, you know, of these to match the, you know, the motor control, uh, the motor, uh, the inverter solution that you're utilizing. Down here, we have a number of different packages available in this product portfolio from, you know, a 38 pin um, surface mount all the way to the PQFM packages from 48 to 64 pins. Generally, the 64 pin and 48 pin uh, versions are the versions that utilize uh, the um, PFC control. We also have a dual core configuration of this product. And within this dual core solution, you essentially have one core, which is a full um, MCE 2.0 core, and then followed up with a blank core that you can do to run other system processes. So it's a fully programmable blank Cortex M0 um, core, and you know you can write your code and do whatever you like with that in that configuration. And you know, theoretically, you can control two motors with this solution. This is available with and without PFC control as well. This provides a good comparison between the different products in the portfolio. So you have um, basically transitioning from left to right more and more complex solutions, where you have uh, single core based devices right here, and then dual core solutions right over here. And then you can see, you know, as you increase the pin count, so does the I/O count increase. So iMotion is a, a ready-to-go motor control software uh, with PLC algorithms. Uh, this is actually based on a functional block diagram that you see here for uh, field-oriented control. And so uh, I'll cover, I'll show you something in the next slide here. Uh, Production-grade ready software. We have a fully integrated state machine handler uh, that details fault state, states in the solution. 
Uh, it's a highly configurable to meet a variety of applications. We use iMotion in applications, for instance, portable um, vacuum cleaners that have 100,000, 130,000 RPM. And at the same time, we use iMotion in dishwasher pumps. Um, so you can utilize iMotion in many, many different applications with a very wide range of parameters. We also have the capability of using iMotion for induction motors. And then we have multiple protections built into the device. And then um, flexible control and reporting interfaces. You can use scripting as well to, to can communicate with another processor. So this is the core block diagram, I would say, of the operation of field-oriented control. And what you're doing with the iMotion control software is what you see here is all programmed into the processor by Infineon. So this whole core block diagram, all of these different um, modules, you would say, um, are done for you. The co code is locked down and, and approved and qualified for you. What you're doing is you're um, monitoring or editing these register values, KI, KP, for all of these different parameter sets. These are fully, be, fully controllable by you and do not affect our UL qualification. And these are the parameters that define uh, the um, characteristics of your motor and optimize the performance of your motor for your given application. So just a couple notes here about just from feature sets um, and functionality. So direct closed loop start, um, we have the ability to catch spin for fans. So for instance, if you had a condenser fan in an HVAC system outside and there was a hurricane, you know, um, we can basically use the software built in to control that speed, catch that fan if it was spinning in the opposite direction, uh, decelerate it, and then start it up in the correct direction. So iMotion has all of that built into it. Uh, ability for low speed control with current limits. Uh, we can also do constant current control. And, and then there's a, a variety of different uh, communication methods that are available for this. And of course, scripting. So scripting is really quite interesting. You know, you can write roughly, roughly 1,500 to 2,000 lines of code in the software. Um, and you have the ability to basically script with two separate tasks um, in a one tenth of a uh, microsecond time period. Uh, you can control LEDs, uh, you know, for some type of diagnostic function, you can do communication, you can do some type of storage, um, like uh, monitoring where you pull like the current or, um, you know, the flux angle or something to that nature from it. Basically, any of the core, um, you know, specifications or parameters in this and feedback so you can pull out of the device at any time uh, utilizing the scripting function. We also have customers in the HVAC marketplace uh, that write uh, scripting algorithms to do constant airflow calculations where they're using the current and the torque of the motor in order to figure out a, a constant um, airflow calculation. And so all of that's possible with scripting functionalities. And then with respect to the tools for iMotion, there's two different setups. There's the MCE wizard, and so this would be the first um, kind of uh, instructional portion of the tool that allows you or walks you through a series of different questions to define the core parameters of your motor. Um, now, if you're utilizing a motor um, uh, from a manufacturer and you have the full data sheet, then uh, you can just program in the parameters directly and not use the MCE wizard. But if you have if you don't have this and you're, for instance, taking the drive off of the back of, you know, some other motor that you're purchasing and you don't and want to develop your own motor drive, well, this will help you walk through um, these core parameters and tell you how to basically take these measurements to pull out those core parameter sets to utilize as your first uh, parameter set to run the motor. And then the MCE designer, and this is where you're going to do all your work uh, with the iMotion device. This is what integrates, you know, with our iMotion controller. You know, you have a lot of different capabilities within this. You know, there's a plot. Um, you can basically real time see current waveforms, you know, RPM. You can control on the fly all those parameters as well. And we're continually evolving the software too to make it more functional. So, you know, um, it, it's it's a great tool to work with. But this is the MCE designer is the core software that you'd be utilizing with our iMotion device. And the reason released to us is our iMotion to go platform. And this is a small USB uh, based iMotion controller. It uses one of our Cypos Nano IPMs, low voltage, and then a little tiny drone motor. Uh, you know, the size it comes in a little package the size of a matchbook or an Altoids container, maybe slightly smaller than that. And, you know, you can bring out your inner couch potato. So no hardware, no software set up, uh, no hardware setup, no lab setup, no hassle. You know, just sit on your couch and play with iMotion, learn it 
Learn iMotion, practice scripting. We have a number of examples and a walkthrough guide to really kind of get your feet wet with iMotion before you start working on larger hardware uh, and tearing apart drives and, and, and working in a lab setup. Particularly useful during the COVID situation. I mentioned before when we were comparing Infineon uh, to a variety of the other manufacturers in the marketplace about uh, depth, breadth of product that we have in our product portfolio. But, you know, because Infineon targets so many different applications, you know, we can really bring, you know, solutions across all application requirements in basically any area of um, power electronics or intelligent control solutions. And so I'm just highlighting here just for your reference that, you know, if you're looking for electronic components uh, for your next design, come talk to Infineon because we really do have one of the largest product portfolios in the marketplace across so many different applications and product spaces. Here are some support links uh, for a product portfolio. Uh, some of the things that I talked about today, this includes, you know, not only our discrete products, but also our, you know, IPM-based solutions, gate drivers, security solutions, really all the different types of products we've listed here. And then some more collateral specifically to the motor control solutions where you have a link to iMotion, the MADK evaluation platform solutions, um, our technical materials, IPM motor simulators, um, you know, really everything that you need. So you utilize some of these boxes for you in the future. So just to summarize here, you know, we at Infineon, you know, we are really focused on trying to provide motor control solutions to customers. So utilize the tools that we have available and the resources that we have available to help you bring your solution to your customer quicker. You know, use the MADK platform because it's here and available uh, for your utilization. So when talking about a motor drives two horsepower and below, you know, primarily Cypos Mini or Cypos Tiny for the inverter assembly. Uh, and then you would utilize our UL Class B Qualified Emotion. You know, if you need PFC, uh, you'd use the 101, uh, 102 series. If you don't need PFC, you use the 101 series. And then, of course, all the support materials are available for the MADK evaluation platform, the Gerber files, and the Altium schematics. And then full reference manuals. Uh, for applications less than four, four horsepower that, that uh, require PFC, you can use the Cypos Mini um, product offering. That's one of our higher power product offering. We have the IM564 as well as the IM535 uh, for high powered motor design applications. You can utilize either a single core or dual core configuration of our iMotion device. And the PFC version always ends with the two at the end. So the 101, uh, 102T or 302T. And then of course, again, with these solutions, be it either um, you know, low power, high power, you know, all the schematics and Gerber files are available for these solutions. Just reach out to Infineon. And then of course, um, iMotion to go is available now. So if you want to get your feet wet with iMotion, please feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to send you one of these and you can engage your inner couch potato with iMotion. Um, so how to work with Infineon. So the first thing I would do um, is try our online simulator, the IPM three-phase inverter simulator. Excellent tool, allow you to understand, you know, which IPM solution will work best in your application. The next step would be contact Infineon. We are here to help you, so feel free to reach out. We can put you in contact with experts that have 10 times more experience in iMotion than even I do. So um, we, we have the right resources, particularly here in, in the US and the Americas, uh, to get you, you know, same day support, you know, generally even same time zone support. We have people all across the country uh, that can support iMotion and help you with our IPM solutions and people with lots of experience. The next thing is get yourself um, uh, a MADK evaluation platform. If you're working on a large opportunity, you know, come contact Infineon. We can help you get you some of that hardware, the right hardware that you need. But the MADK evaluation platform, that's your hardware, your software, and 80% of your motor drive solution. So make sure you utilize the MADK evaluation platform. And then lastly, um, learn iMotion. So be it either utilize the iMotion um, to go platform or, you know, I'll take a, a uh, if you comment on it, we can also do a, a more in-depth version of our iMotion training, a, a level two iMotion control, uh, iMotion training. We've done this several times across the country. Uh, we've partnered